Nancy over here at Next Level Guitar, and today what I want to do is a very simple pedal tone lick in the key of G that we can speed up a little bit as we get going, and we can use this to help out our alternate picking. It's very simple, won't take long, but it's a fun thing to learn. Hey everybody, I'm going to tell you the best part of the video right now. If you want some information that is not available on YouTube, it's a free video lesson that comes with a great coinciding ebook, free. All you got to do is just click on the link that you see below in that YouTube text box and you get all those great things. Free ebook, free lesson, not available here on YouTube. You got to click on that link. So let's check this out, everybody. We're going to go diatonic to the key of G. So what that means is I'm just playing in the key of G and I'm going to follow all the different modes and or scale shapes as we go through it. Um, I'm going to start here and we're going to talk about the scale position of this. Starting from what would be our B note. And I'm going to just trust that if you're unfamiliar with the scale shapes and you want to know exactly what all the scale shapes are, you can go back to any of my lessons, any of the other teachers' lessons, and I bet you you're going to find tons of great information that will get you up to speed in case you're unfamiliar. But for right now, we're going to stick to the D and G strings, maybe get to the B and E strings, and you'll get through this lesson just fine, I promise. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to play this lick here. And it's got this nice little pedal tone. Now, pedal tone means we're going to have a pivoting note in and outside of our melody as we go down the guitar. That's kind of how I like to refer to it. So what is going to be our melody? I like to call this part one. And that's going to be our little lick. And it's kind of tricky there because we got some movement between our pinky and our first finger. And any of us that know that when you're playing guitar, these two dudes are connected with the same tendon. And it always feels like this one has a mind of its own. So you want to go nice and slow. And we're going to start our uh, initial note to change every time. Or the initial note that we play this lick is going to kind of change as we go through it. So we have... of our reoccurring theme. Really simple melody. And then we go down. And that's going to be the premise for the entire lick as we move diatonically through our scale shape. And we're going to keep moving that thing down. This is something that a friend of mine taught me when I was in high school. coolest thing for helping my picking, he was pretty proud of himself for coming up with something like this, I'll say. It's kind of Paganini inspired. He was uh, a violin player as well as a guitar player, taught me pretty much most of the shred stuff that I know, and was really stoked when he could show me this. And this is a cool lick. So we have transition down, and now we're in a new position, but still playing the exact same fingerings, just in a new scale uh, location. Always kind of this pivoting motion that we have here. down the scale shapes. Let's talk about what those positions are really quickly outside of the lick so you have that much more information for yourself. We can play it in that position. We can play it here. We can play it here. when you work alternate picking or any of these exercises, different muscles are used for groups of strings. So I like to take this kind of into account and that's what was really helpful for me. We've all seen a lot of the same alternate picking exercises and sometimes I think to get to the next level of picking, you don't have to be doing something that's quick. You have to do something that's different and that, that's what will really help you. So lots of control there. And that's a fun lick to play. And we can do 
all kinds of cool things with it. Um, let's take it up here though to one more new scale position and I'm gonna play out some shapes for you really quickly. All still in G. that's going to fill us out here. So we can take this to a high string. I'll play it slow first. Notice I'm trying to be very dramatic. And we're just kind of moving through it. They're a little unfinished, but you get the idea. It's a fun lick to play. kind of alternate picking there and it should change up things in your everyday and I think you'll dig it. Go to the website. Thanks for uh, checking out this lesson. Nextlevelguitar.com. Over 1,120 videos and growing every minute of your day. So I will see you there and thank you so much.